was watching videos today, I came across the tag that Mimi's Mega Life did. Uh, it's a Thanksgiving tag. I'm going to tag, I'm going to let you know right from the get-go so that you'll know that you're tagged. I'm going to tag Frecky Fit Wolf, Jones Pointed Plate, Sue Slims Down, Valerie Reese, Skinny Jeans for Lifetime, and of course my pal Ange over at Smack Vision. So let's get started on this. There's 10 questions. Uh, and it's Thanksgiving is next Thursday. Wow, that's coming up pretty quick now. Um, the first question is, do you sit down or do you have a buffet? In my family, we have a buffet. Um, I put everything out in the kitchen. I have warming trays and we put the food in that. Um, the adults sit in the dining room and the children sit in the kitchen. And uh, since there's so many people at Thanksgiving, some of the adults end up sitting in the kitchen with the kids, uh, the younger adults. <laughs> the, old, the old people, they sit here in the dining room. So if anybody in my family that's watching that and you sit in the dining room, consider yourself one of the old people because the old people sit in the dining room. Um, second question is, what do you eat for Thanksgiving? We eat the traditional foods. Um, we have the turkey and the dressing or the stuffing, whatever you want to call it. Um, mashed potatoes, and then we have every kind of vegetable. We have green beans, we have peas, we have corn, we have cauliflower, we have broccoli, we have a salad, um, we have like a jello dish of some sort because we don't eat cranberry sauce, and um, cottage cheese, and dinner rolls, and then usual desserts. Um, your favorite Thanksgiving side dish that for me would be the stuffing i and i know they call it stuffing or dressing i make a lot i make extra i put um some in the bird in the front end of the bird you know like in the front of the carcass and in the back and the rear end and then i make a small cat uh, put some in a cooking bag and put that in with the turkey too and cook that because we we do like our stuffing um, a little trick if you do it in this if you do it inside um, a lot of people don't like to stuff the turkey because it's like inside of the uh, the carcass of the bird. Um, what I do is I take some aluminum foil and I stuff the aluminum foil into the turkey. And then I stuff the, tur the, the bread dressing into the turkey then. And then when the turkey is done and you take it out, you just pull the aluminum foil out and it's all clumped together and then you don't get all the bones and all of that from the turkey and you just plop it into a bowl. <laughs> It's just as simple as I, and I do the same in the back, in the back end, um, I just roll it up into some aluminum foil, into a ball, and then stuff it into the back of the bird. Thus, for some, the stuffing inside the bird obviously gets more of the juices on the back end, but it's, we, we like our stuffing, so we're going to eat that. Um, your favorite dessert. I do not like pumpkin pie. I do not, I'm not a big fan of apple pie. We always have, my Mar sister Mary always makes two pumpkin pies. Uh, Jim likes a pecan pie. We always, or pecan, whatever you say. We say pecan. Um, I don't like that either. Um, I do like a, a banana cream pie. If we have a banana cream pie, I do like that. Um, usually I'll have a cake. I'll just have a slice of cake. I would love to have my turtle cake, but I leave that for uh, special occasions. We have that for Christmas dinner. And then we have it for my birthday dinner. And I Thanksgiving for some reason I, I I think because there's so many people eating all the pies. I'm not a big I'm not a big pie eater. Uh, the least favorite side dish. Well, that would be with 100% certainty the cranberry sauce. I do not like cranberry sauce, and I love cranberry juice. You see me drinking diet cranberry juice all the time. I just don't like cranberries. It just I don't know if it's the texture or we you know like the canned jelly or the homemade or whatever not like jelly the jellied. Uh, jar of cranberry sauce. I've tried that. I didn't like that. The the slices, you know, like when you slice it, I didn't like that. I like the, the I didn't like the fresh. So um, no, I that would be my least favorite. Uh, do you dress up for the holiday? No, we we used to when my kids were really little. We used to get all dressed up when you go to the other relatives' house and things like that. But um, we don't come looking like slobs. But you know, we don't get all dressed up. I mean, we just it's just. Uh, we, we get more dressed up for the Christmas dinner than we do the Thanksgiving dinner. It's just kind of, you know, you eat so much and then you sit and you watch the football games and things like that. So, um, no, we don't get dressed up. 
Uh, do you have any traditions? Uh, I have a lot of Christmas traditions. I don't have any Thanksgiving traditions. Um, none that I can think of. I think we just get together. We watch. I love that I can watch the parade on TV. My father used to bring us to the parade all the time, and I hated it. And I understand why my mother had us go, because she had to prepare this big dinner. She had six kids. And when I was 10, she had six kids. So, you know, she, she wanted us out of the house. But my father would park so far away. It was just like forever we would walk, it seemed like, to get to the parade. And we always left before Santa Claus came because um, we had to beat the traffic. So I never, I never saw Santa Claus. I never saw him arrive. It was like a myth that Santa Claus really was in that parade because I never, I never saw him. So now I like watching it on TV. And you know, I could take, take or leave a parade, but in the mornings it's kind of like a tradition to watch the parades. Um, where do you celebrate? We always celebrate at my house. Uh, when my mother was alive, and, not, and had her own home before she moved in with me, we always went to my mother's house. And then when we would leave my mother's house, we'd go to my mother-in-law's house. So we had like two meals. And I was like, I'm glad I don't have to do that anymore. But um, I have all of the main, I do the family dinners, the weekly dinners, the, the holiday dinners. I do, I do all of the birthday dinners. It's always at my house. And I have no problem with that. I, I enjoy cooking. I enjoy having my family around. And... Uh, there's always room for one more. I always have extras. Uh, the worst, the one Christmas, I should tell you, the one Christmas, I had everything, and I pride myself on that I'm really good at timing things. I can have everything timed perfectly, like I'm in a restaurant, and everything comes up and everything's perfect. And the one year, for some reason, the oven wasn't working right and the turkey wasn't done. And it was like, it was not even close to being done. I mean, it wasn't like you could put everything else on warm. It was like, it was not even close to being done. And so we had all of the fixings except for the turkey. We, oh, no stuffing even. We didn't have the stuffing because it was in the turkey. And um, so we ate all the you know, potatoes and all of that other stuff. And then um, three hours later, the turkey was done. So we had sandwiches with stuffing and gravy. So, and I do make my own gravy. I make my own gravy. I start, I use a, um, a base of the jar gravy in the turkey when I'm cooking the turkey, but then I use the flour and all that to make my own gravy afterwards. So we have a lot of gravy. Um, what do you love most about Thanksgiving? Because that, that means that Christmas is coming. I really, Christmas is my all-time favorite holiday. I really love Christmas, and I go way overboard decorating for Christmas. I go crazy for Christmas. I spend way too much money at Christmas, and uh, I just love the atmosphere of it. Um, I love celebrating the birth of Christ, um, just the whole aspect of it. And when Thanksgiving is here, that means that Christmas is not far behind. I look forward to the weekend after Thanksgiving because then I can start putting my Christmas decorations up. I know a lot of people are already putting their decorations up, but um, no. Jim usually puts the outside decorations up a little bit early because it's warmer, but no, I wait until the weekend after Thanksgiving. Uh, what are you most thankful for? I am so thankful for my family, first of all, because I would be lost without my family. I don't understand how anybody could survive without their family. It's just, uh, they're my number ones, that's for sure. I can always count on them. Uh, I'm thankful for my health. Um, I, I, I'm pretty healthy, and I see so many people my age that are having so many health issues, and I'm really thankful for that. Uh, I'm thankful for my faith, and I'm thankful that I live in a country that I can express my faith, and I can um, be around other people of different faiths and respect their beliefs, too. And i um, thankful for all of you guys in my YouTube community because you keep me on track. You give me so much support, and it means more than you'll ever know because it's really keeping me on track to stay on, to, to keep going on this journey and get to my goal even though my doctor won't give me the number I want. But I, that's another story. I mean, we're not going to dwell on that. But um, Thanksgiving is really a time to be thankful for. You know, like, uh, even in our country, with everything going on right now, uh, I'm thankful for the fact that we can all have our own opinions. Uh, we don't have to agree, but we still get along. And we're still a, uh, we're still a united country. And I think that uh, the forefathers did something right when they decided to make this uh, uh, the country that we have, and uh, I'm just thankful for all of that. But anyway, um, I have tagged, oh, I forgot, I already turned the page. 
because I wanted to remind you who I tagged. And now I can't remember. I know I tagged Frecky Fitwolf, Jones Pointed Plate, Sue Slims Down, Valerie Reese, Skinny Jeans for Lifetime, and Smack Vision. So um, I also am going to leave a link to Mimi's Mega Journey, or Mega Life rather, in the description box below so you can go over and see her tag. And um, check out all these people and see how they are. When they do their tags, I'll put their links down below and so that you can uh, go check them out. So uh, give this video a like, leave a comment, subscribe, and share. Okay, I just realized I tagged D or Davida, I think that's how you say your name, but D over at uh, Skinny Jeans for Lifetime, and she lives in New Zealand, and I don't think New Zealand has Thanksgiving. But I'll tell you what, D, still do the tag, but put it in correlation with something in your country. And let us know, and then we can learn something about your country. And maybe you do do Thanksgiving. I don't know. Um, but I'm, I'm kind of curious about that. So um, tweak it to be something that resembles your country. <laughs> I'm so sorry.